Good morning, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, this isn't going to be a real long, uh, uh, dragged-out video today because there's not a lot to talk about. Um, I think I talked about in a video a good while back when I converted over to using uh, natural products, uh, you know, toothpaste, deodorant, all that, about some of the things I used. But people have asked me, even though I'm just an old guy, you know, kind of a caveman sort of a guy, people have asked me uh, different things about what I do for my hair and skin routine. Well, it's pretty easy. I don't do a whole lot. In fact, <laughs> the hair, I decided to do this one today because I just uh, was down in uh, Pensacola yesterday, went to the salon. I usually just get it, you know, you got split ends and stuff. I just go in and get it cleaned around the sideburns, around the ear, back of the neck. Uh, he's crazy. When you get old, uh, your eyebrows grow like crazy. Get these eyebrows tamed and uh, just get the split ends and stuff cut. So yesterday um, I went in and I was thinking, so I was thinking about it. Uh, girl does a fabulous, I'm telling you, if I lived in Pensacola, I'd be hooked. They do the best. I've never been to a hairstylist before that does that good of a head and neck massage. The fact is now I'm getting used to it. I've been to this same one for two or three times. And uh, actually she wants, like, as she's lifting my head and doing the massage and getting things uh, rinsed and working my neck, she's always like, don't fight, like, in other words, just have a dead head and let her lift it up. But it's kind of hard to lift your head up and just trust, you know, trust gravity that she's not going to drop it. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. So I took my, actually, I took my shampoo with me. I do that. I've done that the last few times. Um, I've been down to Pensacola. And th this is it. You know, I think I've told you guys that I only, um, Sometimes I only shampoo my hair once every two, three weeks or whatever. But you know what? I like it is nice when it's clean. It is nice. It's just that it doesn't really bother me when it's dirty, but it's nice when it's clean. So I think I'm going to start uh, maybe washing my hair a little bit more, maybe at least once a week. But it's in, it's in really good shape. I just used the simple uh, Dr. Bronner's um, all-purpose oil. This is the she made another comment about this one too. She liked it a lot. The tea tree. The tea tree version smells very well. And I use that when I'm washing my hair, when I'm washing my beard. You can use it on the body too. I just, you, you can end up wasting the stuff if you use it on the body when you're taking showers. So I have a bar. I have a bar of Dr. Bronner's soap that I use on my body. Now I haven't been so good. Another reason I did this video is because I need to remind myself uh, as much as I get out in the sun down there, as much damage as I've had in the past that I need to help, you know, I need to take care of my skin. And basically my skin uh, care uh, consists of only one thing and that is coconut oil. Now when I'm here in the States, and this is not because he's famous or anything, I've got, this is uh, Ziggy Marley's Cocomon coconut oil. Um, it was just simply from everything, you know, I'm reading, I got this on the last trip to the States about three months ago, three and a half months ago. It's cold pressed coconut oil and just everything I was reading, it stacked up better than anything um, else in the health food store that I was in. And I'll tell you, um, I even know where the process or where they do the coconut oil I get in Costa Rica, but this, this is a grade above. This is really good oil. So base and you, you, I use just the tiniest, tiniest bit because one time I've used it, if you go heavy, I, I don't know if later on, you know, that might could even like do go the other way and clog up some pores if you use it too heavy because it's pretty thick. I just use just the slightest, slightest, slightest little bit. And when you use the slightest little bit, it just makes your skin really nice and, uh, and smooth. And I feel like, you know, besides making it smooth, it's uh, maybe repairing some of that damage I've done in my past. I'm going to just read a little quickie on um, coconut, coconut oil, why coconut oil, why it's good for the skin. Um, the question is, uh, what makes coconut oil so beneficial for the skin? Before we can understand how coconut oil achieves all of its impressive benefits that people around the world claim, let's look into the constituents of coconut oil and their respective properties that might make them useful for maintaining skin health. The saturated fats. Predominantly, these saturated fats are medium chain fatty acids or triglycerides. When applied on the skin, they keep it smooth to the touch. Due to the presence of these fats, coconut oil also retains the moisture content of the skin as the fats eliminate moisture through the pores on skin. When ingested through the regular consumption of coconut oil, these fats deposit under the skin, thus keeping it healthy and smooth, giving it an even tone and reducing the appearance of the pores. Um, capric, caprylic, lauric acid, um, these are not very different from the medium chain fatty acids, but it is still important to mention them separately 
here since they have their own contributions. These three fatty acids have strong disinfectant, this is what I want to get to, disinfectant and my antimicrobial uh, properties. As a result, when applied on the skin, coconut oil protects from microbial infections that can get into open wounds. So it's, I mean, it's very beneficial for getting rid of infection. That's what, I mean, I knew, I knew that and I couldn't remember exactly, uh, uh, exactly that fact, but um, this stuff is just, it's powerful stuff. So, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't use it to treat a wound, but you know, if you have uh, any wounds, any old wounds, it's good for scarring. Um, and furthermore, capric, caprylic, and lauric acids are easily broken down chains of fatty acids, meaning that they can contribute to usable energy in a quick and efficient way. Um, da, 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 da. Vitamin E, the contributions of vitamin E towards skin care are well known. It's essential for healthy skin growth, repair of wear and tear on the skin, keeping skin smooth, and protecting against cracking. Above all, it prevents premature aging and wrinkling of the skin since it has good antioxidant properties. Um, Anti-aging cream, traditionally uh, coconut oil has been praised and popularized for its uh, anti-aging properties. And this is due to things like the proteins, like coconut themselves, coconut oil is rich in many proteins. These proteins keep skin healthy and rejuvenated, both internally and externally. Proteins also contribute to cellular health and tissue repair, along with a wide range of other essential activities within the body. For any damaged cells on or near the skin, a healthy flow of proteins guarantees their replacement at a normal rate, whereas people with protein deficient diets heal slower and often develop more obvious scars due to the extended healing time. Now, they're probably getting at something else with the protein there. <coughs> Always back to, you know, protein, protein, protein and everything, but I think in this case that the particular proteins that you get in the coconut add with the other properties of the coconut to for the so the oil is just you know amazing for the skin um, it's good for i'm just seeing different uses of coconut oil for skin care i don't necessarily use it on that but it's good for lips lip gel cracks in our lips uh, can uh, help prevent those a skin softener um, it's good for hardened and cracked feet. You know, some people have those uh, really have problems with like really dry skin and whatever. As an exfoliant, now this one is really good. This is um, I haven't used this one myself, but I know some people that have, and they've just they swear by it. So I did put a little bit and try it just on my forehead as an exfoliant. You know, using coconut oil with say uh, pink Himalayan sea salt is really good for a deep cleansing um, on the on the skin. Um, another one. This not the coconut oil. I'm telling you, this coconut, uh, there's so many uses for the coconut internally, externally, in different ways. I think you've, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I think I have, but making coconut milk. Now that's another form that I might, that I will be using more on my skin that's not coconut oil. So it's not just coconut oil I use, but basically when I make the coconut milk, uh, what you need to do is if you're making coconut milk, once you've squeezed that pulp out really dry and gotten all the liquid out of it, you just let it sit and dry out. That is, man, that skin, that makes the skin just soft, velvet-like, I'm telling you. It's, uh, it's, it would be something really nice. I'm still, I'm gonna do this one day, but I just don't want to make a mess in somebody's location where they give massage. I would like to take a whole bag of that stuff and, you know, just have somebody, uh, cause I can't reach all those big sections on my back. I have a problem with that with the oil too. Uh, it, but it'd be nice just to have, you know, that stuff rubbed in all over your back because it's just a good, um, soft feeling. But anyhow, that's how I keep it simple. I mean, I don't think, you know, people want to buy a whole bunch of stuff, but just between the diet, you know, when you're eating a mostly raw vegan diet with a lot of high water content uh, fruits and vegetables, I think the water content of the fruits and vegetables, making sure you're staying hydrated, and just these few simple things, I just don't see a lot other, a lot of other things that you need to use. Now for the women that use uh, makeup, yeah, I have no idea about that. Uh, maybe I'm thinking this could be like a good, good for removing makeup, um, but you're gonna have to, that's probably a subject for some woman to cover as I don't use makeup and there's probably somebody out there in this world that has some natural um, makeups and different things like that. Personally, I'm not for or against makeup. That's just up to individual person, every individual person, I don't, you know, I don't judge it, don't have anything against it. Quite just as a personal preference, I know quite a number of uh, good-looking uh, ladies that don't use it. And I think, 
you know, to a large extent, sometimes they just can't be. I've seen women before that would probably never go out without their makeup on, but I've seen photos of them and they almost are embarrassed where they're doing like the, you know, no makeup thing on um, Instagram or like they're just proving, oh, I'm going for a week with no makeup. I tend to always find them more attractive when they don't have that makeup on, but eh, that's neither here nor there. That's just for whatever makes the, per the individual happy. I don't believe in imposing uh, standards of beauty on other people. But anyhow, that's a simple one. Um, I hope it was worth your time to even see this. But yeah, it's a real simple routine. The skin is the biggest organ in the body, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put good stuff in your body and put a bunch of garbage, toxic stuff on your skin. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel, and hope the week is starting out uh, beautiful for you. Peace.